All right, people, welcome back to another video. All right, guys, so I have an amazing tool to show you guys. This is the best optimization tool for your Lenovo Legion Go or your Asus ROG Ally. So with this tool right here, it's the ultimate tool out there that keeps everything in one location so you don't have to be all over the place trying to optimize the device to its best potential, right? So with this app, it's called WinTool. It has everything you need in it to keep your device running, running as smooth as possible for as long as possible. So if you download this tool, guys, you won't need any other app on your device because this has, has everything you need. So this tool right here is the ultimate optimization app for your Legion Go, Rogue Ally, or any other PCU app. So let me get into it real quick, show you what's going on. How you get it is you just have to go to the Windows Store, go in here, type in WinToys, and this is the application right here. As you can see, you got some screenshots. Once you hit it, once you hit download, download it. All right, guys, so the first thing I want you to do is create a restore point. I mean, WinToys is a safe tool, so you, you got nothing to worry about. But if you mess with anything in a device that you think you want to revert back and you can't find what you did, then this is a good way to go back to the previous um, restore point that you did before you start messing with it, right? As I said before, wind toys is safe, so there's nothing to worry about, but this is just a precaution just in case, right? So you wanna just type in restore point and then create restore point right here. Then this will open up and then you would just go to create a restore point right now for the drivers that have system protected turned on, right? So you will create, once you create, you would just uh, give it a name, create, it will do its thing. Once it's done, you go to system restore, hit next, and then you'll see a restore point right in here. So if anything happens, you could just go back in here and restore back to that previous point. Go in here, this, this is the first thing you'll see guys. This is the main screen, which is the home screen. You just hit this button right here and it shows you all the layouts on the left side. So on the main screen right here, it's gonna show you like your processor, your system, graphics card, memory and everything that you have in your device shows you like the total amount of apps the processes are running services everything on the screen you can't really do anything on the screen guys but but this is just giving you a rundown on what's going on in your system if you go to apps if you go to application and here this will show you all your application that you have on your device so this is basically like the same thing uh, if you will go to apps on the windows directly itself everything will be right here but everything is just con condensed in one location here you could uninstall from here anything you want to do close out browse search everything in this specific section guys all right so now if you go to performance get back to service later so now you got the first two options up here it's not compatible with legion go only if you have like a iron pc then you could use this feature you got ultimate performance power plan and hags right so you can skip those the next one is VBS. So this is basically like a protection software for your device. So it protects you against malicious ex exploits, right? If you hover over the, the on and off button, you'll see it gives you a little description of what's going on, right? So this basically says might decrease in-game performance by up to 30%. But Microsoft Research states that it's reduced malware report 60%. Don't forget to revert settings back, whatever, whatever. Right, so this right here, it will decrease your gaming performance, right? So basically this video is trying to give you performance towards the game to give you a better experience while playing games, right? So you could disable this, but you might be at risk of getting my malware or any kind of virus or anything like that. If you're not doing anything sketchy in your device, like any sketchy website, you should be good guys. So you could disable this, all depends on what you're doing, your preference. But if you're mainly for games, you're not going to any type of crazy websites you can turn this off guys because this gives you a boost in performance in your video games right so i recommend you turn it off if you go down you'll see startup apps so this is basically the same thing if you go to your startup application section and you could disable enable or kill apps from starting up this is basically the same thing so in here you could go you could turn off whatever you don't want to boot up when your system boot up and this will give you a better a faster startup time guys so Next one is relaunch applications. You could turn it off. Automatically saves restartable apps and restart them when you sign back in. You don't need that on. All right, so next one is background apps. With this, this basically does kill all apps running in the background. 
if you hover over the start on button right here it tells you exactly what it's doing as i said before so if you don't want anything in the background you could turn this off if you got like an email and stuff like that and you want to get that notification or whatever when you play your games you can have this on so that you can get that but it's up to you turn it off is what well. you turn it off because that gives you better experience plus there's nothing around the background so more resources going towards the game you're playing so you should be getting a better experience the next one is activity history keep track of apps and service you use the files you open and website you browse so basically just keep track of everything you're doing they got visual settings right this right here you could disable most of these so adjust visual effect for best performance if you go over here it tells you this is basically for animations and like shadows and stuff like that you don't need that on as i said before every little thing adds up so this um gives you a little bit boosting performance as well because this the system is not trying to do all those shadows or the visual effects right so you can turn it off you don't need that on then transparency is up to you or you want to do that transparency is like with the applications you can see it through it a little bit that's not a big deal leave that on off it's up to you all right so next one right here game settings if you go in game settings you got game mode windows mode optimization background recording and super fetch right so game mode want to leave this on because it you want to leave this on because basically it uh so it prevent any type of updates like drivers anything while you're playing your game and stop notifications and anything that could interrupt your experience right but as i said before it doesn't significantly increase the frame rate and may cause freezes drops crashes in certain games so you might um be aware of that might cause a little bit crash and stuff like that and it doesn't really increase your frame rate but it's still to have this on this helps you from not breaking your immersion right by keeping all those notification and everything that could pop up to interrupt you at bay right uh windows mode optimization so this reduce uh latency and unlock features like auto hdr variable refresh rate and it works with compatible games supporting direct x 10 or 11 when open in windows or borderless windows right so i want to keep this on as well because it helps with your latency next is uh super fetch preload frequently use application and files into your ram increase your system performance i mean you could leave this off right you don't really need this on because it's basically preloading like applications and stuff like that but it's up to you and it's saying if you got anything lower than four gigabytes of ram it may be cut it may cause performance issues search indexing you can turn that off you need that on delivery optimization you can turn that off as well you don't need that all right so next if you go to if you go to help you'll see a couple options in here in here as well so you'll see fast startup you can leave that on if you want the system to boot up very fast after you turn it off basically uh prevents the device from completely shut down by saving the state of the os in this using hibernation right so if you're trying to get back into your game as quick as possible you can leave that on hibernation as well you can leave that on as well up to you device optimization you can leave this on because it helps to your device to be more efficiently while doing any type of task you're doing right storage sense leave that on you guys already know what storage sense do already so it automatically clean up your temporary files and keep your system as clean as possible every couple of days or every couple of weeks depending on how you set it up it's the same settings that if you go into settings itself in windows you will see this then you got battery report generate a battery report containing the usage estimated the capacity and other technical details uh, repairs so recommend for crashes freezes blue screens unfail update etc right so if you go in here then if you have any, any type of problems like that blue screen freezes you can go in here select each one and you can scan and then it will check the system so this is basically like command prompt you don't have to go and run and type in all those things that you have to type in to get this up and running so just go in here you click scan and it will tell you what's going on or if there's any issue uh, memory diagnostics you could click check once you click check it's going to check the memory and see if there's any issues if you're having any problem and it also reboot your device and then it'll show you what's going on once it's finished this check so clean up as well to free up this space clear your taskbar cache systems restore points and more if you click on that 
go in here you can see all the other smaller tasks that it has so everything in here is taskbar that i just said drunk files and everything like that that's all it's going to clean up so system updates right the configure how updates works and check for new ones right if you go in here you got different options you can do security manual or disable you don't want to disable this because you want to make sure you're getting your updates from windows you can do it manually if you want and you could go in and manual update whatever you want so you don't get all them updates or you could do security if you set the security then it will automatically only update your device when there's like a security update so it's up to you you want a security and then you can manually like do whatever you want so app updates you could set this on if you wanted to automatically update your apps or you could do it manually up to you again next one is a uh, sleeping pill a so sleeping pill right here detects and stops scheduled tasks from randomly waking up your device right so right now it's saying there's nothing randomly waking up my device so if you have a lenovo legion go Asus rogue ally and it's a random just screen just come on or stuff like that that means there's something running and it just wakes it up if you come in here you will see like a one two three or whatever amount of system that's doing that and then you can see what's going on and why is it waking up your device so graphic driver here hit a restart and then it could just um restart your driver so basically restart driver if your display has weird issues like freezing or flickering so you could just click here and then restart it for you icon cache this just rebuild the cache if your icon or thumbnail or black blurry or corrupt so you could do that as well if you want all right so next if you go to tweaks so in here these are all like tweaks on your device so if you go to desktop open that you could tweak like your widget if you want to turn it off on recycle bin and most everything that's in here wallpaper quality you could turn up and down the quality if you go to startup menu you could disable uh include bing search results auto install suggestions stuff like that Windows file explorer you could mess with this as well uh, privacy in here there's certain stuff you got to turn off if you want your system to not be cluttered right not be running too much stuff like app launch tracking turn it off if you want if it's on for you, you can turn it off app telemetry you don't need it on so turn it off location you can leave the on guys if you certain type of if you're using something that need your location you leave the on they you got your camera lock screen and stuff like that but there's no camera in this device so you ain't got to worry about that. You got ads in here. You turn off the uh, ad suggestion. Um, lock screen, fun facts and tips. You need the uh, on. So you could turn off certain things like you think you don't need or you're not going to use. Tips and tricks. If you already know Windows, you'll need that. On the system as well, you got clipboard history. So if you need a clipboard, you can leave the on. So there's not any major things in here just some couple tweaks in here that you can mess with so go through it and then you can see what you want on what you don't want on and then you can go go with that guys all right so back to services in here these are all the services that's running right now you don't really want to mess with this right guys because you don't really if you don't know what you're doing you don't want to mess with this because you might disable something that you need and then your system might be finicky right so if you go here you go to useless it will show you stuff that you don't really need and see it says right here manually stop so i got this stop that's not running so you could see all the useless stuff like this you don't really need to have on but i still don't recommend you messing with this because you don't really if you're not experienced with windows you don't want to do something you regret right even if you did something and then your system is kind of finicky after that you could still um revert fix it by going back in here and fix it or you could create a restore point and then you can restore your device back to how it was previously before you mess with the stuff right so yeah so that's basically it guys um thanks to tuning guys if you have any, have any issues anything like that let me know in the comment section down below if you use this app before let me know this app just have everything condensed in one location and you don't have to go all over the place to find whatever you're looking for right so everything that could tweak your device make it run as smooth as possible is in here that's built into windows right if you get what i'm saying so go through what i just showed you guys and let me know what you think mess with it play with it and optimize the device to best to its best potential and then you should be good 
And thanks for tuning in guys. I'm going to always see guys. Health is wealth. Uh, peace and love. I'm out guys. And don't forget to sub to channel for more awesome content. Hit that like button. And I'm out guys.